All right, now go. What you do, you get your conch pieces, you get you a meat mallet. Mm -hmm. Where's the meat mallet? One of, one of these jewels. Is that heavy enough to do it? Yes, one okay. of these jewels. Okay. Pound it to a flat consistency. This is conch. C-O-N-C-H. What were you doing? Hanging around some Jamaicans or something? And travels and going to a couple of the islands. Mm -hmm. And your base ingredients, you always, when you deal with conch, you always got to have a citrus, either key lime, uh, American lime, uh, green lime. Now, what would vinegar do to it? Mess it up? Mess it up. So, no vinegar, no just vinegar. a lemon and lime. Now, there is a citrus fruit that you can play with called blood orange. I like blood orange. I know blood orange. Well, why you say play with, though? Explain that. Uh, well, not the, the blood orange or the bitter orange. You can use either one of those. All right. Now, this is Reverend Derek King. He can preach to y'all, but go ahead. And it just depends on what your palate is. If you like sweet, go with the sweet. If you like sour, go with the sour. Now, Derek, did Daddy go to Israel, Africa, London? Tell me some places Daddy went, because you had to have gotten some of this chefdom from him. Well, one, one of the things that attracted me to Caribbean food was he had gone to Jamaica. A.D. King, our daddy. Wow. Reverend A.D. King. Uncle Lamel was working on one of his books. Uncle Lamel, Martin Luther King Jr., was working on his books, and his brother joined him. him, went with him. Okay, go ahead. And a little history lesson in the middle of a cooking lesson, y'all. And he brought some native pigeon peas back. Evidently, he had pigeon peas and rice down there in the Peas island. and rice. And he brought it home, and, and I got hooked on Caribbean food. All right, thanks. But oh, that's conch, y'all. Tell, tell us a little bit about conch. What is conch? Inside of a seashell that's harvested in Caribbean waters. Well, there are different versions of it. Italians um, like uh, uh, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. But Italians use uh, seashells. Oh, mm, I can't think of it. Okay. But. Um, those scissors okay, because there's yeah. another pair. Yeah, no, they're doing good. All right. Now this is home cook at its home cookery at its finest. Sunday supper. It tastes pretty good for Sunday supper, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, when you pound it, you get the conch, you pound it out. You gave me some ceviche a minute ago. Ceviche, yep. you just put lemon lemon on that, and we ate it raw, didn't we? Ate it raw. Lemon. But it, it didn't taste raw. It didn't, because the you said the acid cooks. The acid cooks. But listen, y'all, don't do vinegar. Do lemon and lime and blood oranges and bitter oranges. Okay, now give us the whole little process again real quick. We're going to wrap get, it up. Get your meat mallet. Mm-hmm. Get your uh, conch pieces. Mm-hmm. Beat them till they're flat. Mm-hmm. Then, depending on what you what your dish is gonna be, you got a uh, conch salad, conch stew, conch curry, fried conch, steamed conch. And you're gonna do the base, which is some uh -oh. to uh, <laughs> onions, celery, uh -oh. curry powder. What else? Salt, pepper. Pepper. Well, I'll let you add the curry. I'm just gonna do. Them. Okay. Now Jennifer did some with some kind of uh, sriracha sauce and butter and yeah. and the garlic. That was pretty good too. Yeah. That's why I say I'm I'm gonna put some put some basic stuff in it and then come back and take it where you really want it to go. Lord bless you for giving us all these jewels of the earth and this jewel of a brother. In Jesus' name. All right, Chef Reverend, Reverend Chef. All right. God bless you, brother. Thank you, sister. Smile.